Hi, welcome to Evermentor YouTube channel. So in this video, we are going to see that one of the fellowship uh, scheme was uh, stopped by the ministry. And a few of the comments I got uh, two to three months back that when that fellowship scheme is going to be launched or else updated again. So to those candidates, uh, this video is my reply guys. Okay, and that fellowship scheme is under the uh, Ministry of uh, Minority Affairs and uh, I think all of you might be aware about that fellowship scheme that is a Maulana Azad National Fellowship Scheme. Okay, so actually this scheme was launched uh, by the Ministry of uh, Minority Affairs in 2009 in order to cover the five-year financial assistance to the candidates or the students who wants to pursue the MPhil as well as the PhD and here the six uh, different minority communities uh, includes in this one. Those are Buddhist, Christians, Jain, Muslims, Parsis and Sikhs. Okay. Uh, but uh, recent that means and the candidates from 2009 to 2021 up to 2021 uh, so many candidates got benefited and the fellowship amount is like uh, 25,000 to 28,000 based upon the JRF and uh, SRF. So it was a very good amount and so many candidates benefited. But uh, recently in December 2022. Uh, the ministry informed that this scheme is uh, stopped why because uh, collision or else the collapse of the uh, different uh, fellowship schemes and all so regarding this one one article published in the hindu paper guys so the center stops the maulana azad scholarship for research scholars from the minority communities and the union ministry of its uh, minister uh, smriti irani says in lok sabha that the decision was made since the scheme overlaps with the various other schemes okay and here it is clearly mentioned that the center has decided to discontinue the MANF, a scholarship for students from minority communities that was launched during the UPA regime as a part of implementing the Sachar committee recommendations from this academic year. And uh, I mean, of course, in order to qualify for the MANF also, the candidates has to qualify the UG Senate uh, with minimum some 55 percentage of marks they have to score. Uh, but still it was a good opportunity to the minority communities to pursue, I mean to fulfill their financial assistance to pursue the MPhil or the PhD. Uh, but the center is uh, thinking that it is uh, overlapping with other fellowship schemes also. So that's what I mentioned here since the MANF scheme overlaps with various other fellowship schemes for higher education implemented by the government and with minority students already covered under the such schemes also. That means if you take the uh, UGC net uh, JRF. So, in the UGC net JRF, there is no difference between the uh, minority communities as well as the uh, majority communities or else the different caste categories. So, whoever the candidates got the highest uh, score depending upon their communities and all. So, those candidates are eligible for the fellowship or the scholarship. So, based upon like that in the U, not only the UGC net JRF, so there are so many other fellowship uh, schemes are also there like uh, uh, Visheshare PhD scheme or else the uh, Prime Minister Research Fellowship uh, scheme. Okay. Uh, so like that the I mean the ministry is thinking that it is collapsing with uh, different other uh, fellowship schemes so that's why they wanted to cancel this one and she also added that as per the data provided by the university grants commission which had implemented the scheme about 6700 candidates were selected under it between 14 to 15 and 21 to 22 and the fellowships to the tune of 738.85 crore were distributed during the same period uh, to fulfill their financial assistances so in the previously also the research scholars uh, had faced the uh, delay of the fellowship amount and all so up to several months on nowadays also a few of the fellowship schemes are delaying that means there is no a dispersal of amount uh, three months or four months or five months like that the de delay is happening and at the time also the research scholars demanded or else they raised the doubts uh, regarding the continuation of this MANF or not. So then, uh, I mean, the answer to this question is that uh, Ms. Irani said in a reply to the question by Congress uh, MP T. N. Pradhaban that all such schemes except the MANF are open for candidates of all communities, including minorities. But the date of fellowship distributed among minority students is captured only under the MANF. So what they mentioned is that, I mean, MANF is covered only for the minority. But all other remaining fellowship schemes are covering the majority and minority, both these two. So they are thinking that why the separate minority fellowship scheme? Already the existed fellowship schemes are covering the minority candidates also. So what is the necessity of putting one separate additional uh, minority fellowship scheme? So that's why they decided to stop this MANF. But here 
the national students uh, union of uh, jamia milia islamia president ns abdul hamid said the issue uh, will affect the number of minority students who are not considered as a obc okay so like the scholarship for minorities like obc dalits and adivasis used to get overlap as applicants may be from same social or the religious background who have been demanding the center to correct the anomalies okay instead of correcting the anomalies the ministry directly cancelled or else stopped this scholarship altogether and this will impact a number of muslim sikh and christian students who are not considered as a obc in the various states so this was a statement uh, given by the national students union of jamia milia islamia president okay so anyhow it is a issue guys so the candidates who are still waiting for the man fellowship so you don't uh, get this one so currently this fellowship scheme is stopped okay so whoever the minority candidates are there i am suggesting that whatever the different fellowship schemes are available in as per your state government or else the central government so please try to utilize that one instead of waiting for this man f okay so please share this information to your friends or colleagues who are waiting for this man f fellowship and uh, all the best to the applicants or the candidates who wants to pursue the phd or the mphil with financial assistance so to get the more fellowship uh, schemes which are available or is provided by the center or the state wide i will update in my youtube channel so to get all these updates subscribe the channel and then tap the bell icon thank you